<laughs> All right, my friends, it's Krebs here. We're playing some space engineers. We're going to be creating today a space biplane. So I think you War Thunder lovers, you plane enthusiasts, I think you'll probably appreciate this. Yeah, a biplane in space seems a bit unrealistic, but I, this is a sandbox game. You got to make stuff like this sooner or later. So it's going to look uh, like a generic biplane model, not like any sort of one in particular. It's going to have the biplane wings, going to have the prop at the front. And so, let's go about actually building one. It's gonna take a few minutes, and this actually took me overall an hour and a half, but a few minutes on this YouTube video. So you start off with those few initial blocks just to frame out the hull of the actual aircraft, and then I started working towards the frontal section of it so I could get the prop in there, the ro rotor that's actually gonna turn the propeller, and it gives me a general idea of, yeah, that looks doable. It looks like we've got some good progress and we could probably make this aircraft. So then after that we start to build the wings and these wings are built out of catwalks and these are attached to the hull which is large blocks. These are some supporting struts because biplanes were typically known to have struts and these supported the wings and gave them integrity, uh, structural integrity so they didn't just collapse on each other. But there's also some struts on the inside as well, and it just it gives it a more of a realistic sort of look to it. So that, yes, when people look at this, they'll say, yep, that is a biplane. Now, I wanted the cockpit high enough so you could actually see where you're going if you were in sort of like a first-person mode. But I didn't want it to be just sticking out of nowhere, so I built these graders at the front, so to make it look almost like a cockpit, something that you look out of, like window and it gives it more of a feeling that it's, yeah, a biplane. At the back, I started building the tail portion of it, of the plane, and it got a little bit complex here. I had to go through a few iterations. This is my final iteration here. And you have to use a lot of diagonal blocks to make this successful. I also added in some catwalks so that it didn't look like just one giant, essentially green block, this plane. It makes the sections look a little bit more divided, and makes it look a bit better in my opinion. Then when it comes to the actual internals of the air aircraft, the spacecraft I guess you could say to make it run, I dug a little bit into the hull, placed down some reactors, gyroscopes and also gravitational generators and I also changed the inside so that the ladder goes directly to the stairs and that leads up to the cockpit and you have easy access to the small reactor. I started to put engines or around the uh, the ship so that <clears throat> you can control it. Now initially I thought about just putting engines at the back so you can have to just go in one direction as a plane would but it kind of makes it a bit complicated and it makes a plane hard, on well, the spacecraft, hard to stop so I had to go with the idea of just putting engines everywhere around this aircraft on all axes so that you can control properly. We've also got some landing gear, and they're not the sort of typical landing gear we expect with planes, you know, the wheels, but that's how the, how it works in space. It's a space aircraft, after all. Now, the unfortunate thing with the current uh, iteration of space engineers, you can't put Gatling guns and rockets, missile launchers, on large aircraft, and this is a large, or large spacecraft, and this is a large spacecraft. So, instead I put on these turrets, and they're not functional either because it just ha hasn't been implemented in, in the game yet. But it gives it a bit of, uh, you know, <laughs> makes it look like it can actually do some damage. And it will in the future. So when the future updates come out, you'll be able to easily just jump on into this thing, edit in some Gatling guns, some missile launchers, and have some fun destroying whatever it might be in your space aircraft. Now let's go ahead and jump on into some actual footage, some gameplay of this creation. Okay, so here we are with our space aircraft. <laughs> We're gonna go have a little bit of fun with this thing. So, uh, what you'd have to do if you were parking this thing, you'd probably have to climb on into this. You'd probably have to activate actually your jetpack to get up into here, but you'd climb on in and you'd be up here and you climb up these stairs to your cockpit. Now, in order to get your spacecraft starting, or at least to uh, simulate that it's an aircraft and make it look like it's starting, we need to start up that prop. 
So we go over to our reactor over here and we go ahead and go to the rotor. All of our settings have already been put as they should and all we simply do is press the on button. Ta-da! Simple start up with the prop. There's no need to go out there and start spinning it by yourself. It does it for you. That's ingenious city right there. <laughs> so let's take a look at this thing. This is our, oh gosh, this is our space uh, aircraft right here, our space biplane. And let's go and take a little spin around town as they say. So as I was saying about the weapons, unfortunately the weapons don't work right now. It'd be so awesome if they did. Uh, and if you made this with a small aircraft, then you could use weapons because Gatling guns and missile launchers work with small aircraft. But the only unfortunate thing is is that you wouldn't be able to use catwalks because catwalks only use only work on on larger aircraft. Now you could try to I don't know screw around with things and use small aircraft and landing gear to land on the larger portions, I don't know, stuff like that. And maybe then you'd be able to do it, but it'd take a lot of tweaking. And I think this thing looks pretty sweet right now. Uh, it'd make a lot, it'd be a lot better though when future patches come out and you can actually use guns on larger aircraft. Whee! <laughs> and we'll just turn over to the side here. Damn, look at this good rotation. This is an ultimate, ultimate turn fighter. Oh dear. I think we sort of lost our bearings here. Now, we're gonna go in for uh, a space landing. So the sort of space landing I mean when you're gonna use your landing gear. And then we'll try out on our runway an aircraft landing that you would use with your biplane. If you're fly, fly, uh, flying a biplane. All right, so here we go. Let's just get into position. Du, 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 du. Start slowing down. Start slowing down, please. There we go. And now we just drop ourselves down. Sorry if there's like a little picture flashing in front of your screen. I think that's just the camera angle screwing with you. I'm not trying to scare you. If that's what you're thinking. Oh gosh. And now we need to just land it softly. Gently. Softly. We need to look for that yellow. A landing gear. I just don't want the prop to hit. Yeah, we got plenty of space there. And now we lock it into position and we get on out. And we'll go down here just to make it show you guys what it's like. See, and there's the prop. Ha. Huh. Ingenious. <laughs> uh, so, say if we have a scramble alert, we've got enemies coming in, the Japanese are attacking Pearl Harbor, we go ahead and jump on into our spacecraft because that's just what they did in Pearl Harbor I guess and and we take off unlock our landing gear and off we go off to the battle as they say <laughs> alright so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to do an aircraft landing so let's go out there and get a bit more speed um, I'm hoping that this aircraft landing will be uh, smooth, but we're not gonna we're not gonna try to land like you know vertically, as if we were some sort of modern day jet. We're gonna we're gonna have to stop using our aircraft, and this is probably isn't gonna turn out to be beautiful for our spacecraft, but. Uh, this is game is all about creation, but it's also about destruction. <laughs> so here's our our landing, our uh, landing strip. We need to uh, do an emergency landing. We're coming in fast. Here we go, guys. We're about 27, 28, 29 meters per second. We're going faster and faster. We need to rotate this thing. We're coming in fast. Here we go. Here we go. Land. Land, 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 bitch, land. Oh shit! Looks like we might have to make a nose, a nose dive, as they say, to stop this thing in time. Ah, ah. <laughs> okay, I, I, to be honest, I don't think this th thing really works. It doesn't really work quite like an aircraft. Uh, as much as you want it to be an aircraft, 
I think in space, things are spacecrafts, unsurprisingly. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. This is the space biplane. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can actually go ahead and fly it out in the Steam Workshop. I'll link you guys in the description box below. So the next one, this is Krebsy, and I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.